just had to clap because I tried to start the podcast and judge said something <laughs> very inappropriate <laughs> as per usual. <laughs> oh, Nada. Sorry. Yep. We're here and we're ready to rock. Yep. All right. G'day, Bad Wetters. How you going? How you going, Bad Wetters? What are you What are you doing? Yeah, not a lot. Just no, wetting let the them bed. actually talk. Oh. What have you been up to? Get fucked. No way. And it, what, she did that for you. Fuck, how much did you pay her? <laughs> Grouse, so it was free. Oh, you did a runner. Nice. All right. Good to talk, Bad Wetters. Ciao. Hooray. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, Lulu? Hey, Lulu, went to a spin class this morning. How was it, buddy? Can I tell you something? Nah. When I... <laughs> When I read the sign, because it was like, usually they have sort of, well, you've come to one before me, and yeah, they have like a yeah. lot of like music. Yeah, it's fucked. Yeah, you think it's absolutely Completely fucked up. Um, and this one had a special, they have like special music that they play, so there can be like a hip hop one, or mm. it be like 90s edition. This was Taylor vs. Her Exes. Oh, fuck. So how long did it go for? Three days? It was <laughs> it was Taylor's. <laughs> She's had a few of them. A lot of Harry Styles in there, a bit of Calvin Harris. Oh, so it'd play a Taylor Swift song and then one of her exes yeah. songs. So who was it? Who were her exes? Uh, Harry Styles, Calvin Harris. Those Diplo- are, no, not Diplo. Yeah, those were the main songs that played. Oh, okay. Um, but oh my God, I was like, I just giggle in these classes when I'm on my own because I'm like, they're like quite fucked. Like, it's just like yeah. this intense, like the girl was waving her towel around. Jesus. And then at one point you would have actually lost it. There was this move where you'd go up, down, back, body roll. Oh. <laughs> so you're like, up, down, back, body roll. <laughs> Why? Why do they do this? I don't know, but I was into it. I was really into it. Were do you, you know body what? rolling? Yeah, I was like I, full, I, full dancing. I was getting real into it. Jesus. And then it was like, and hands down, and twist, and up, and twist, and down, and Man, body roll. I guess like if you're into it, you're into it, eh? Trust me, it's like a, a that room just gets you going sometimes. But it, I've never been – like, I don't mind Taylor Swift's music, but I've never been like – you know, they're called the Swifties and they're just like yeah. – there's billions of them, like yeah. more than the Believers. But it made me a Swifty. You're a Swifty now? That class made me a Swifty. True. I only like one of her songs. What is it? Let me the, guess. Love Story? Yeah. Or You Belong With Me. Don't know that one. I like oh. the – the love story. It's Romeo, a love save me. me somewhere we that, I like feel. that song. That was remixed in this class. Well, okay, I could yeah. get around that. Yeah. I just, Dal, it was a real early class, and body rolling and jumping up and down on a fucking bike would be, an, it's enough for me at three o'clock in the Arvo, let alone at fucking 6.15. Yeah. You know, I just, I, I'd be so cranky leaving the class. That's okay. One thing they do is they come around and they ask your names before the class. Oh, fuck off. So then during come the class. Come on, Jack. Yeah. They're going, go Lou. Yeah. Not for me. Well. Nah, it just it just means there's a, a light shone on me in the class. You know what I mean? Like, you didn't mind it when you came. Yeah. No, I did. Okay. Yeah. I didn't like it. So we won't <laughs> go again? <laughs> like. You liked Fit One Boxing. See, that's better. That's hanging off a boxing bag for fucking 45 minutes. That's, that's, be- that was and tough. What was that thing that we pushed with the weight on it? Oh, sleds? one of those bloody, yeah, did sleds. They were tough. That, very tough. That was like, I've, I'm not even kidding you. I don't like to push myself much in classes. That, I've never felt my heart beat so fast. Well, you physically had to push. You literally did have to yeah. push. I've never, ever, ever felt I, my heart race so fast. I was cooked after that class. I was actually proud of going to it because I did drill half a bottle of whiskey yep. the night before and I, I was like, that. fuck, this is going to be tough. Sweated it out, but I was in all sorts. Felt really good afterwards, but fuck, it was tough. Mm. Anyway. Yeah. We done? How yeah. long have we been going for? <laughs> Do you know how long have we been going? Um, yeah, 55 minutes. You're good. Okay, sweet. Oh, hotline? Yeah, hotline. Nice, guy. <laughs> Shred life, shred mania. I actually thought the other day I was in trouble because I've been doing this new bloody um, b- Lily Cook mm-hmm. PT at Lily Cook PT. She's my PT and she's put me on this fucking program. Fuck me, some of the days are such hard yakka. It's like one of the days is like fucking 
10 minutes on a bloody one of those those bikes, oh, you know, I hate those things. Salt bikes. Then 40 minutes of boxing. And then you finish. I do uh, maximum bo- box jumps for a minute, maximum running up and down on the spot, high knees for a minute, maximum burpees for a minute, and then maximum pl- mountain climbers for a minute. If That's I after. So you running on the spot? No, 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 Lou. I Heck. love. Look, I'm tremendously athletic. It looks fucking graceful. I, I've seen That's you like box a, when I'm on the treadmill at the stadium and you're boxing. It's not pretty. You want to? You want to? Sus- you want to reestablish that sentence? It's because you're lying to the bedwetters now because you know that I got the style. It's not wow. Like you'd be the same as me, level wise. Oh, <laughs> holy fuck! Holy shit! Limbless. Let's say we're on par. Limbless. I was doing pretty good in that fit one class. Did you look over and have a browse at one point? Yeah, bud. Embarrassing. You see me owning that shit? I was pretty good. Look, I was really good. Do you? Show them. Again? Yep. Show them how good you are. Let's do a little comparison. Okay. All right, just on style. You yell out what, um, yep. what you know, like. Yeah, yeah I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even say what punches to throw. So I wonder who's going to win this. You got a Dior? Jab. Cross. Jab, cross, lead hook. Uppercut. Lead uppercut. Lead uppercut. There we go. Rear uppercut. Jab, cross, right, rear hook. <laughs> no, actually, no. You know what? You've gotten better. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Freestyle. I think it's more the freestyle. Are you ready? Walk a microphone. No, okay. You. Jab cross. Jab cross. Hook cross. Lead uppercut. Lead uppercut. Lead uppercut. Lead uppercut. Lead uppercut. Lead uppercut. Hook jab cross. Upper. 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 Okay. Someone's not very good. What? Look at the style though. Ready? Do you do that? But do you go shh, shh, shh? Yeah, you're supposed to. No, you're not. Oh, okay, yeah, you'd know. Yeah, I would. I'm an athlete. You're supposed to do that. That's how you're supposed to. You're supposed to go, Shh, as you throw out. You're supposed that to That is out. an absolute yarn. <clears throat> Anyone that boxes, please comment in or call in or whatever and let this little lady know how fucking wrong she is. You do not go, shh. Yeah, you do. Buddy. Shh. Yeah, you do. I'm a little puffed. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> My heart's going. My heart's racing. That's how unfit we are. Look, fair to say that we're both not boxers, but nah. um, mine's be- definitely way fucking better than yours. You're yours be. has improved. But you are supposed to breathe out as you throw a punch. You're supposed okay. to go... Shh, shh, shh. Well, I'll give it a go next boxing class I do. Yeah. Which won't be for a while, because your girl's going to your hip. Sorry, that wasn't us taking a break. That was us applauding Louisa for her tremendous boxing skills. <laughs> Thank you. You're very clever, aren't you? Yes. Yes, you're right. Uh, Don't. <laughs> yeah, the boxing stuff. It's fucking hard, Yaka. So hard. But I love it. But I'm doing a fight. Yeah, we know that. So I've got to be training up. I'm doing a boxing fight in fucking... But you, you, it's miles away. Like you could train three months ahead and you'd be sweet. Yeah, I'm just... You could start in December, mate. But I've got to get a fucking shoulder reconstruction somewhere in between there too. You probably need a boxing coach. Well, that's what I'm going to do. You're looking at her. <laughs> do you reckon ding, you ding, should... Ding, ding, ding. Big dog, LDD. I'd love to stand in the corner like, you know, when they come and sit at the... Like the ring, and yeah, you can. You can it's be my me corner. like squirting the water on your face, being like, "What did you come here for, Jack? You came here to fucking win. Does this look like winning to you, you fucking little pussy? You know what? Get out there and show them what we mean well means. You know what? I think you would enrage me so much by being there. Your presence would enrage me to the point that I'd win the fight. Yeah, I need you in my corner. I definitely need. What? what the- Sorry. Why? Oh, you'd be so fucking annoying. You'd be really annoying, and that's what I need. So if you get in my corner and annoy the fuck out of me, I need you annoying. How f- would I be annoying? Just be yourself, dude. So just get in my corner, be completely who you are, fundamentally and intrinsically who you are. That will give me the strength that I need. The guy I'm blue on is about six foot five. He's a big boy. Now, I'm going to need some vigor, okay? You're going to provide that vigor for me, Lolo. All right? Just come in and just talk like you like this. I could sing... <laughs> Um, 
SpongeBob campfire song for you. Now we're cooking with fucking gas, you. Lulu. I actually, like, I actually am an annoying person. Yes, so like, am I. Yeah, we both are. I'll, like, text my friends updates of, like, my day-to-day. Just like, like anyone gives a fuck. I know, just being like, just did this, like, just went for a walk. Oh, so annoying, the post office was closed. <laughs> Just like, like tours, like what? Yeah, dude. Shut up. This is like it's kind of annoying me at the moment. No, not you, oh. not you, you. But also, <laughs> I'm just joking, by the way. Kinda. Um, the neediness of people is really starting to fucking bug me. I feel oh, like we just we're too in contact with everyone. Oh, you mean like as a society? As a society, dude. Okay, so this is where we're taking the podcast. We no. are too connected as a society. No, no, but you know what I mean? I mean, right. you can't. People get so upset with you if you don't write back to their fucking WhatsApp message oh, that yeah. you were tagged in. And you're like, oh, mate, oh, there's about 40 fucking groups with about 800 messages in them. I'm like, I can't keep up, bud. My mum calls me like three times and then is like, what's going on? When can you chat? I'm like, let me breathe. Yeah, seriously. Let me have some space. This morning I was getting real fucked off because it was like the morning. And I think I'm going to start a new thing where I don't look at my phone for the first hour of a morning. Yeah. Because all I did was wake up. I just heard this. Was it me? Some were you, but that was fine because we, we were supposed to do a thing in the morning. But it was just, no, it was different cunts. Mm. And I'm like, and I just was like, holy fuck, I can't look at this shit. I know. <laughs> it shits me to tears. It, it would be um, easier being like a, a non-older person, not having a phone, or like a dog. <laughs> Sometimes I think that. Or being Gianni. <laughs> well, no, you want to be sentient. You know, you want to be like a fucking. Well, he is. Well, he's not done. Oh. He's a fucking vehicle. But I, like being I, a dog would be sick. Yeah. The the best life I think that anything can live on Earth is being a rich family's golden retriever. Yeah, or or a Toby. Toby lived Toby pretty good. To, Toby, Toby was a prince. Toby had a dog Rolex. He had a Dolex. <laughs> but the golden retrievers are slick dogs. You know what yeah. I mean? They look cool. They get lots of walkies. Lots of walkies. I could be Everyone a dog. loves a golden retriever. I'd love to be a dog. You just get fed and walked. Those are my two favorite things. Well, they did. They. You, they were fifty percent there when you were a kid. You got fed, fucking oath. You got fed, walked, not so much by the looks of things. <laughs> <laughs> Just a couple of soccer games where I was a defender. <laughs> Dad would say, if you hit the ball ten times, you get five dollars of treats. That's I right. Hit it ten times. It was nine, Lou. It was only nine. It's funny what parents do to make oh, you like do speaking shit. Speaking of fucking Franco. I sent a photo because he usually, when I was younger, he'd always help me pack my suitcases. Well, it's a dad thing to do, you know? Help you roll your things up, make sure everything fits. Yeah, for a daughter. Appropriately. Yeah, not for a son. Um, and I sent him a photo and he was like, too much stuff, Lou. It needs to be tighter. Buy things over there, do some washing and roll them like more like tight or whatever. I was like, <laughs> such a Franco thing. To say. And then it honestly infuriated me that I sent him the photo of it. I was already in a foul mood and I was like, and then my brothers, because I sent it to the family chat, and then my brothers start chiming in, you're not going to need that much stuff. I was like, I'm gone for five weeks. I'm going to fill up this 80 centimetre suitcase whether you like it or not. Hey, did you want to borrow a suitcase, though? I bought one. You, you did Samsonite. buy one. You did? Yeah. Big Bertha one? 80 centimetres, baby blue. Uh, like a light blue. Oh, dude, I think you might have got the same one I got Steph. Oh, yeah, probably. So you just got it? Yeah. Lol? What? Something. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, did you have you borrowed Steph's? No. What are you smiling about? <laughs> the fuck are you doing? What? <laughs> what is this? You wig me out. No, someone got uh, we some suitcases to together. You, what? They got a suitcase matching one with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Someone. No, I'd love to. No, it was just as we Well, if it's if it's worth Well, mentioning. I got the blue and he got the black. A uh, he? Sorry? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> back to you. Back to Let's you. do a riddle. He got black and she got blue with... <laughs> Who is she talking about? <laughs> Very you know, good, Josh. Not, not as, Very not as, good. Not as good as eight-year-old Lou's <laughs> riddle, but quite up there. I'm not on it today. I'm not... Hold on. He got black and... He got black and she got blue. They look like one, but in fact they're two. They travel the world on different boats. 
of this individual, she surely gloats. Who is he? <laughs> Answer the fucking riddle, Lulu, for the bedwetters. <laughs> it's Franco and I. Oh, nice. Yeah, we got matching suitcases. That's very cute. Yeah. Franco, father yeah. and daughter sort yeah. of stuff. Daddy, as some would call her. <laughs> <laughs> But enough about his missus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you're sorted, Dal. Yeah. I'm glad you're sorted. I'll, I'll miss I'll miss you guys. I'm going to miss you. Oh, I actually weird. said you in the car yesterday. I was like, dude, I'm really going to miss you because I'm like, we hang out so yeah, much. Not just do we do the podcast. Like, we do a lot together. We do content. We do saunas. Mate, we do ice baths. Uh, work out. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be weird, but I'm going straight back to the bush, yeah. which I can't wait oh, for. You should drive Gianni around the block for me. You're not meant to leave them not running for a while. Oh, darling. Yeah, I can do that, sure. But it's... Go on. It's, it's take, him, take him through the car wash so I come back and he's shiny. I patted him the yeah. other day. Pay, pay for my car to get washed is all I heard, Judge. No. <laughs> I patted him. I, I parked him and I went... And who I was with was like... Who are you with? <sighs> Let me guess. Franco. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, did you you just pat your car? And I was like, yeah, it's a good park. <laughs> You're just you a, a good unit, parallel mate. park. You're a unit. You so pat yourself. Well. You pat yourself on the back. Well you did done, a good Lulu. job. It has nothing to do with fucking Johnny. Okay. You... Yeah, I think you need this break. Institutionalized. Let's just get you. Let's get you over there. Enjoy your holiday. Get you back a bit more normal. Mm. You look after Kevin. That's where I'm drawing the line. Nah, you'd put him in a cupboard. I'll just leave him sitting on my bed. I'll give Kevin to Kobe to play with. If I came back and Kevin's head was off, Kobe's other little red nosed pit bull. He'll fucking rip the fucking life out of him. If that I, okay, scenario: I gave you Kevin to look after. Kobe actually annihilated him. Would you never tell me and buy me a new one and pretend like it didn't happen? I'd message Jamie straight away and say, hey, Dal, where did you get this fucking thing? Then I'd um, purchase it, cover it in like spit and shit, obviously, because you kissed the fucking thing. And I'd have to make it seem like it was your Kevin because it'd be covered in bodily fucking fluids. Uh, <laughs> so I'd spit on it and like, rough it up a little bit and just like... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're celibate. You know, and then, um, yeah, give it back to you in the shape that I got the Kevin in the first place. I'd know that it wasn't Kev. You would, eh? Yeah. Yeah, you would. I think your dead set would. I'd go, he'd, he'd look too new. He'd look too fresh. No, no, I'd do all the fucking and stuff that you do to him. Like, I'd do everything that you do to <laughs> you Kevin. You just said I'll do all the fucking. Yeah, I'll do everything you do to Kevin to make it to make it normal. And then, um, like, I'd really, I'd focus every day on just fucking the shit out of Kevin. <laughs> So it's, it replicates your Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Have we really got nothing to talk about? That this is where we are. Wait, we're talking about fucking Kevin. <laughs> We almost may as well just have um, microphones in your car. Oh uh, yeah, but and start the podcast from we there. We probably should, but it's not. It, it wouldn't go well. I think we'd be what the we'd the be media off the air call. pretty quick, Lulu. <laughs> Cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want to do some red light, green lights? Yeah, let's do that. Red light, green light. Be getting better. I'm it was like it. a um, like an evil like like a violin like yeah. <laughs> Be in like a horror movie. Yeah, yeah. Be like the grudge walking towards you. Yeah. Uh, that was the etcher sounded. That was really. No, do you good know what them. was the worst movie? The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Oh yeah, that I saw was that. so crook. Yeah, that was all well, based off true events, but obviously bullshit. But like, what could have been true? No, darling. Did you ever see Paranormal Activity at the cinemas? I didn't say it at the pictures, but I did see it. I did see it at home and it was fucked. I don't recommend seeing it at the pictures I left. I, it was scary, eh? So scary because it's not like <coughs> it's like a murder or whatever. It's like you could be lying in bed and then you could just go, oh, fuck, something's going to grab me Fully. and throw me against the wall. <laughs> yeah, I think, when did that come out? Years ago, I was like Dior? 15. 2003? I think I was like 15. No? Seven? Yeah, later than 2003. I think, oh, seven. Seven. Yeah. I don't want to work out how old I was, but I'm going to go roughly 15. Yeah, I probably still believe in ghosts back then. So that's why it would have been scary. Casper. 
Anyway, um, <laughs> red light, green light. People who quietly moan when they eat. Mm. 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 Stop Sorry. That. Stop. <laughs> Sediment itch in your ears. Yes. Sorry, Ben. Go Peters. again. Nah. No, do it. Nah. Please. Nah. Oh, let me try. Mm. Yours was less sexual than mine. Okay, there we go. <laughs> 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 no, it's a red. It's a red it's light. So red. Like I know it's delicious, but I'm I'm okay if it's like you're like, mmm, that was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you're like, ooh. Correct. If you're acknowledging to the table, this is good. Mm. But if you're in your own little world and you're going, mmm, mmm, <laughs> you know what my old man does when he eats? What? He he goes. He does. He says nom nom nom. So oh, I do that. When my old man, no, but like without it, he's sitting there and he's, he goes, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> it's, it's adorable. It's wild. Nom, 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 nom. He chews ice cream like me. Ugh, yuck. Nah, it's, it's a full red. The only thing that's acceptable is like what you said, acknowledging that you're, this is good. So you're yeah. like, mm, mm, Oi, mm, try the mm. fucking thing. Yeah, mm, not that's good. Not little silent. Mm. <laughs> that's a good one. Red, both red. Yeah. Um, red light, green light. Spitting in your dog's mouth for loyalty. Red? <laughs> How's that even a thing? Green. What do you mean spitting in your dog's mouth for loyalty? When you get a pup, it's like an old wives' tale thing. When you get a puppy, so you get a new dog. You open their mouth and you spit in their mouth like every day for like a week or two or something. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. And apparently it's meant Dior, to make... Dior, Google. Apparently it's meant to make them loyal to you. Nah, that can't be right. Yeah, spit in their mouth. Lugo. <laughs> By the way, I've nicknamed my girlfriend's dogs. <laughs> spit in their mouth. That's How long did it take you to come up with that joke? You write that one down when you wrote your red light green Dude, light? Dude, like the 40 seconds I was just silent. <laughs> <laughs> Is but it that's, a true it's, thing? It's a, honestly, I've got mates that do it. So it says uh, people claim that uh, it helps the dog like establish like, you know, Bond. alpha or whatever because the alpha dog in a pack always eats first. Spitting in the food puts a human in a leadership role. Um. There are also a few trainers who promote the idea of physically opening your dog's mouth and spitting inside it. That's it. Making the dubious claim that it, that it calms the dog. Well, I guess it's I think, like yeah. when yeah. you're a baby. It sounds like an old wives tale, but it I got my sounds like a, do it. a kink for you, Josh. Yeah, but it's kind of yeah. like when you're a baby and you have to put the baby on the raw on your skin, so they you yeah. know for like comfort or whatever. Yeah, it'd be it's similar so vibes. It's 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 red for me. I feel like it's unnecessary. I'm green. I just love to try it just to see if it works. When you get a puppy, will you? Speaking of that, can I just say, God. I was at a shindig the other day, talking to a group of. Three or four people, right? Mother with a newborn, and I just look. I know it's natural and it's normal. It's normal, but I couldn't help but find it like confronting. Like we're just talking away. I'm like, yeah, how fucked is like rent? Like how much you're paying for rent? She's like, I know, it's just absolutely fucked. Yeah, but Dutch, that's just normal. I know. People breastfeed on I, like a dude, park. Dude, I know, but I did. I wasn't prepared for it to happen. And then when the just the titty popped out and then just the kid, and she's like, yeah, I mean, it's just, and it was just like the whole show. And I was like, I just wasn't prepped for this. It fucking threw me off. Where did you take the convo to after that? Tits. <laughs> I just kept it going normally. But in my brain, I was going, fuck, that was pretty wild. Yeah, but it's, that's, just, that's just life. Correct. That's reality. Yeah, it's but normal. are you telling me, Lulu, that if you're standing there and someone just gets their tits straight out and then gets the fucking baby to start sucking on it, you're not just like straight away, you're just like, oh, okay. No, I literally had a coffee with my friend the other day and she did that in Bondi Junction. Can I come to your coffee dates from now on? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lou, text me next time you're going for a cup of joe. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, we have fun. Oh, do we? Um, red light, green light. Falling asleep in the car when you're a passenger. I can't do it. Red. If red. I'm driving Gianni and you were to fall asleep. You would go to... This is the... Th you, this I would... I would... Oh. 
You would. I think if it rolls reverse, if I was driving and my passenger fell asleep, I'd be very mad. Would you? But if I fell asleep, I'd hope that no one would wake That's me exactly up. That's exactly right. That's the way you operate. Now, yeah, you'd be off it if they, you'd like do this. Oh, well, oh, yeah. and like. Oh well, no, I do that naturally anyway. Yeah, correct. <laughs> <laughs> Except you got cranky at me the other day when I did that to you. When? When I um. We were driving somewhere and I went, ah! and put the foot in the brake and you got proper It's not funny though. She got actual cr- I got actually me, mad. And I had to be like, Lulu, I am, I am sorry about that. That was naughty. <laughs> that was naughty senorita. <laughs> you know what? I was like a smack dog. And now every time I think about doing it to you, I'm like, oh, fuck, remember when she got cranky at you? It was like the first time you'd been cranky at me. And yeah, <laughs> I was probably. Like, uh, but I got my way out of it. Have we ever had a fight? Um, nah. No. We obviously argue and shit on here, but th- that's all friendly fun. Yeah. We've never had a proper blue, no. I'd be intrigued to see what the first one is. Same. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why you order? Why, Why, Why you I order? Why you order? <laughs> uh, you, but Lou, it's a green. You, let your passenger fucking sleep, you psychopath. Fine. I mean, let them have, have a snooze. Kid. I'm jealous of them because I can't do so that. I'm, that's my thing. I can't sleep anywhere. I'm yeah, not a napper. It's neither. I'm not a dilly naps. I wish I could have a little nap nap. I'd love to be able to just fall asleep here. So, dude, it's that's what... a quick 10-minute kip. Fucked me off the other morning when... A what? Why is it called a kip? A kip. Good question. Why is it called a kip? A lot of Googling for you today, Dior. Yeah, you're earning your fucking dough, boy. Let me tell you. Why is it called a kip? I bet it stands KIP stands for something. Quick and... Kicking it peacefully. Oh, so it's got to do with like... um. <laughs> Factory workers in the 19th and early 20th century would return home from a day's shift to eat a large plate of kippers, which would send them to sleep with a full belly. What are kippers? I think they're a fish. I was about to say it reeks of sardines. Yeah, I think it's something like that. (laughs) And they do reek, Judge. (laughs) (laughs) Louisa. You've done well. No, you've got to stop with that, mate. It's very, very inappropriate. So sorry. sorry, Yeah, it's it's a herring. There you go. You learn something new every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is good. I love learning that sort of shit. Me too. It's like chewing the fat, how that came about. That always hang fucking oh, meats. Oh, do you know why it's... Um... You jump in. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I knew I'd forget if I didn't go. Go. Can I? Yep. Okay. You know that phrase... Um, Oh, shit, what's the phrase? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Um, oh, fuck. What's that phrase and it's like, um, be here or be square? Be there, uh, be there. Whoa, how have you weeded me out now? Is it? Be there or be square. Yeah, Be fuck. there or be square. It, it's because you're not around. Oh, fuck. Welcome to fucking 2002. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Me thinking I'm teaching you something? Yeah, no, mate. We're oh. knows that one. No, I only found that out not long ago. Well, maybe not everyone does know. A lot of bad weathers might not know, so you probably have taught people something. Because it means you're not around. We we understood the first time, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Didn't didn't need repeating. Okay. Well, what's yours? Chewing the fat, you know, spinning a yarn, like talking to people. So when people back in the old days would get, like, a bit of extra money, Mm. They'd buy all these strips like fucking a bacon. They'd hang the bacon up in their house, right, mm. in the window. So people could see, that like, this, oh, that's a, like a, it was like a sign of success. And they'd get their friends and neighbours around. They'd rip off the, the fat and they'd just chew it while they talk. Because it was like, that's what was like, the bacon was fancy and fresh. They'd come over around, come over and have some fucking, some of this shit, rip it off. They'd just chew it. Wouldn't that give you food poisoning? No. It's raw meat. What? It's raw meat. Yeah, doll. You can't eat all raw meat. But you certainly can. No, you can't eat chicken. Ca- yeah, correct, doll, but that's a different meat. You can't eat it's bacon, bacon raw. Y- yes, you can. No, you can't. Dior. <laughs> oh, fuck. I There's fi- no way you can eat bacon raw, Judge. I don't like. I don't know about. I'll look it up. But you can, th- you think can, about like all like salami type salami, things. Yeah, salami. That's raw pig. Yes, I know, like prosciutto and... Yeah. What's that? Yeah, but bacon's diff. No, it isn't, kid. Same shit. It, I'm telling you, 
<coughs> so I could just, dry out. I like, could go to the supermarket and get a, a batch of sausages. Wouldn't be and lovely. Just nibble on it. Wouldn't be lovely. You'd probably be fine. So I could go get some a rasher of ham, a rasher of bacon. Yep. And have a nib. You could. Nah, nib. I don't think so. That's not what it says here. Ha! Like, yeah, but that's bacon the way we buy it at the shops. You can't eat that shit raw. But if it's been like preserved the right way, like cured or whatever, dry you bacon. Can. You know they hang yeah. it up. Yeah, like dry jerky out. and shit. It's like jerky. I love jerky. Same. Biltong. So, good girl, you knew another I love one. it. But like he dry it. Yes, yeah, so it's like cured meat. What's the difference between Biltong and jerky? Dior. <laughs> <laughs> Biltong's better. Biltong, isn't it South African? Because he's just Googling the entire episode. Oh, that's Burovos, isn't it? The South African sausage. Yeah, but Biltong's also South African. Is I it? love little rippers. You know those little salami sticks? I love little rippers too. I used to have those in my um, school lunch. Oh, I thought you were talking about like small statured strippers. Oh, so... <laughs> You've been very inappropriate this podcast. Oh, is that inappropriate, is it? What, strippers don't have real lives and no, dogs, you man? Just, you've Let's show some respect. You've said a lot of tit stuff. I talked about breastfeeding, a natural Before thing. Before the podcast. I, off the air. Oh, did I? What did I say? I won't say it. Oh, yeah, you don't say it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, re- I remember now. <laughs> oh, you weren't getting involved? No. Now I've got one. Okay, go. Red light, green light. The 20th of April. You know, like, the date. 420, that sort of stuff. The 20th of April? Yeah. 420. What have you done to me? Um, 420. You know how people celebrate 420? 20th of April. Green? Okay, so she supports Hitler's birthday. Jesus Christ. Okay, good to know, Lou. Um, Wow. (laughs) Didn't know I had a fucking serial killer on the podcast with me supporting the birthday of Hitler. But I you do. Love Bedwetters, the, I am so you sorry. You love a layup. What? Just taking me down. What do you mean? I don't know what you mean. I'm not gaslighting you. You are. <laughs> this is gaslighting 101. <laughs> well, I don't know. Dior, did you hear her just say that she liked the... 20th Stop of April. It. I knew you were setting her up, Josh. Don't I, be me. When I heard you Don't giggle, I'm like, asshole. when I heard you giggle, I'm like, he's onto me. He's, he's onto me. <laughs> red light, green light. People who adjust the volume of music in your car. Fucking red. Green is green. You, fuck, you're annoying. <laughs> on the way over here, you know what she does? She plugs her fucking phone in and then chooses her phone on the Apple Play when I'm already playing my shit. And I'm like, I'm like, wait, dude. I've just bought you a vape. I've just picked you up. I drive you to the podcast every day. The one thing, but we'll be having a full-on conversation, and you'll just start to choose music. I'm like, am I fucking boring you, Louisa? Sometimes, a lot, <laughs> a lot of the time. <laughs> it makes sense. You're so fucking annoying. And then you ch- then you put the fucking bloody um. No, and then I go, hey Siri, play Pitbull. Oh, oh, oh no, don't Siri, stop. Cancel, cancel. Oh. And then and then and then you also change the heat of my car and you always put it on an odd fucking number. Someone made a great point the other day. You know how you were saying the number nine is like a little baby, a little yeah. belly. Right? Surely the number six. Yeah. No. Yeah. Sorry. No. Yeah. Cause it's literally like it a little is. baby and she's looking over the belly. But no. It's gotta be odd. Just I'm like- odd. Sorry. Gave me the ick. <laughs> yeah, it kind of gave me the ick as well. That was. Oh, that- are you wacky, are you? <laughs> oh, are you on? Did you do a funny little voice? <laughs> oh, I'm in a crazy mood. I'm a wacky, weird girl. I'm crazy. <laughs> you won't know what you'll get. Ooh. Oh. Looking for someone who's a bit wacky. Oh. Someone's a bit crazy. Someone oh. lives outside the square. Maybe you should do radio. <laughs> a wooga. Zip, 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 zip. It's the nighttime show with LDD. With LDD. Yep. Yeah. Night time radio. Night time radio. Morning, guys. Dude. Oh, jokes. It's night time. <laughs> I'm so yeah. wacky. You should. Do you want this to be I mean well? No. It wouldn't work. <clears throat> Are you talking about you on a day-to-day basis? Basis. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like ba- like what they do to chickens. 
or a bassist. Slap in the bass, man, big time. <laughs> Gary, on the kick drum. Come, come, on the kick drum. Your turn. Red light, green light. Chalky in the freezer. Well, I'd put Tim Tams in the freezer. I've written Tim Tams in the freezer, but I broadened it out to chocolate. Judge. Tim Tams in the freezer are the fucking best. best. Like God's gift. Have you ever had, now you have t- freezer, Tim Tams in a freezer. Sorry, I'm getting hyped up about it. Now you have Tim you Tams just, in a freezer. I just peed. I just peed the living. What? You see, did you hear that, Dio? What did I say? You see, tit freezer. <laughs> I got too excited. I couldn't get my words out properly. I couldn't get my words out. <laughs> oh, okay. God. Oh, okay. Whoa, okay, I'm going to slow it down. <clears throat> I just I just found that we had something to bond on yeah. and it pumped me up because <laughs> I love them so much. I've been deep throating fucking Tim Tams out of the freezer. I've been getting those family packs. Now, if you have brought Tim Tam... Frozen Tim Tams into your world, and then you have a room ten- Tim Tam. It's fucked. It, it's They're not the fucked. same. Not room the same. Tam. So, uh, do you know what else you should do? Put um pineapple lumps in the freezer, the New Zealand ones, but they now have them at Woolies Double Bay. What are pineapple lumps? They're like chocolate on the outside, and then pineapple flavored in the middle. Like a honeycomb sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. but, but you, you, they're usually squishy. Chuck them in the freezer, oh, and natural confectionery sour squirms in the fridge. If once you put them in the yeah, fridge dude, or I'm, the freezer, you won't, you won't go back. I so agree. Gummy bears and like sour gummy bears yeah. in the freezer. So good. Dude. But but Parabos. chocolate I chocolate I feel like different different ball game, like a block of chalk. In yeah, because it gets a bit too hard. But in, in, the, fridge, in the fridge, yes. You gotta fridge it. But room temp chalk is fucked for me now because I've had it for a fridge I'm living yeah, my whole life. I know what you mean. Kit Kat blocks though, you know the blocks of Kit Kats? Mm. Fucking hell, man. But once I start eating that, I'll eat the whole fucking yeah, it thing. Yeah, can't stop. When we left the podcast last night, I got a. Um, a you did get your chalky. I got I got a chocolate bar, but then I got a bag of natural confectionery, like I don't know, fruit tingles or whatever yeah, the fuck yeah. they were called. Yeah. It demolished the whole bag in like twelve minutes. It did. It's. I like, put like four in my mouth at a time. It's hard not to. Yeah, they were it, delicious. It's hard. Yeah, it's like because I just get like I love my little movie mm. nights, and I love snacking while I eating while watching movies. And so I lay in bed. I'm like, fuck yeah, I've got a new show coming out or something. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm in heaven. Get me a little block of chi- bloody Kit Kats. <laughs> <laughs> and fuck, sorry. I love this so much. I love this what so much. the fuck is going on? You're me today. I just love it so much, I get my little... <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, fuck, mate. But and I'm I'll just, just dropping oh, into Jesus the mic. Christ. And I just drill, drill the whole thing. Mm. And even when I'm full, I'm so full to the point where I'm like... Oh, fuck, I'm full, but I just don't care. Mm. Nice, yeah. good bonding, man. I feel like we we went a bit far mm. on that. Okay, one more from me. Yep. Socks on during sex. Uh, green. I feel like I used to be a um, green. Uh, sorry, I used to be a red, but I'm a green now because I have recently been wearing socks to bed, and I kind of like it. So I feel I haven't tried it, but I feel like I'd. Yeah, yeah. I'd like. I, no, I, I actually haven't, but I feel like I'd like it. It's good in winter because your feet get to stay warm. <clears throat> and this rings a bell of early on in the podcast. Have we done this? I feel like you said something about wearing a beanie when you're having sex. No, oh, it's just that was another name for a condom. Chuck the beanie on. No, I feel like you genuinely would. Oh, that was a joke. <laughs> Damn it. Anyway, this one's got to explain them. That's what I always tell myself. Your dad's proud of you. Your dad's proud of you. It's fine. He's proud of you. Not, she didn't not. laugh. It's not the end of the world. Your dad's still proud not, of you. No. Who's that? Justin. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Just in time for the beanie to come off. <laughs> I'll never. I'll never get sick of it. <laughs> <clears throat> but dude, because you know, sometimes you're in the moment. You're in the like, fuck. Let's. Let's get the shit going, you know what I mean? And she starts to crank. You don't take everything off. Well, you're like, getting, you're getting everything off. You're in the bloody mood. It's all going. And then you're like, socks are just a bit too much admin. Keep They're them staying on. on. You know? Yeah. Your feet are warm. 
you're having fun. Yeah. Then you just keep them on. When you're all done and finished, you're like, sweet, I don't need to put my socks on. Do you get on. back into your clothes or your, like, pyjamas after it? Just chuck the undies back on, I suppose. What do you do post-coitus? <laughs> <laughs> What's oh. your post-coital? I'll put What's my, your post-coital ritual? I'll put my pyjamas back on or undies or whatever I'm wearing. Sexy. So you're going to put the double, because we know what pyjamas you wear. Just, so I've you grown put the double. Up. I don't wear, I wear cute, like, cute. It's cute, sexy. Uh, 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 they are. Don't. I don't wear my flannel lips anymore. You didn't even convince yourself when you said cute, sexy. You had to add the word sexy. I in don't there. wear my flannel lips anymore with poo up, poo up, poo, poo up, poo, poo on them. <laughs> Polar bears on Polar. them. So what? So you don't wear a top and bottom pajama set anymore? Well, those were bought for me by Ned, so I haven't bought those out for a new. Yeah, but you. So person. you don't wear a top and bottom pajama set anymore. But they're cute, no, no, yeah. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> they're like cute little, like oh, Peter Alexander, cute, like lacy cute, sexy. ones. No, lacy, come now. I swear to God, they're Show lacy. Show me some photos of you in them. <laughs> <laughs> no. Prove it. <laughs> I don't know, dude. You don't seem like a sexy pyjama kind of gal. You're painting a terrible picture of me to the big winners. I'm sexy cute. <laughs> I'm simply a man with a brush. You know? You're giving me all the inspiration. I'm just the man oh. with the brush painting the picture, but... You are, um... Yeah, you're not a sexy pyjama kind of Van girl. Van Gogh. Aren't you? Are you? No, I have sexy pyjamas now. Or I just wear a singlet and undies. Which would be a G-string. Okay. That's all I wear. I feel, I feel like I'm revealing a lot. <laughs> 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 Very naughty. Oh, naughty. Are you into sleeping naked? Well, I get too cold. I'm just not into it. I just feel like I'm, my balls are going to twist or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just... You know, I had a mate who twisted his nuts in bed. What do you mean? I had to go to the hospital and shit. He can fucking fuck you up. His nuts twisted and he didn't know what the fuck... He like, sleeping in bed. Damn. And he fully had to go to the hospital get, like, an operation and shit. And I'm just like, when it's all going on, I'm just like... I suppose because when you're, you're in your jocks, they're like cut well, it's, nicely, it, yeah, safe. It's packed in. You're packed yeah. in there. I wear briefs, like not boxes. So yeah, everything's yeah, point. Not those little undies that like older men wear. Ugh. Those those really give me the ick. Yeah, you're Which, talking about just yeah, the normal, like and the I budgie know, smuggler undies. I know some guys need to wear them because it doesn't give you like a line and chinos or whatever, but there's just something about them for me. Oh, fuck who? Does people actually do that? That's what, um, I knew a guy who wore like bright green little Bonds ones. Because they don't give you a line in your gives chinos. Gives you PTSD thinking about them. Yeah. I don't, they don't, not for me. No, nah, it's very dad. They also remind me of like... Your, your washing line when you're younger, like Franco's would be on Correct. there. Correct. And so I it just can't, you know, put them those two together. Yeah, isn't it weird when you do the washing as a kid and, like, you're hanging up, like, your mum's bras? Yeah, shit. like your mum and dad's undies. Yeah, you're like, I don't know about this. Yeah, like, just do it yourself. Yeah, maybe you take just this. Just get me to do the dishwasher, maybe. Yeah, I'll do the dishes and you whatever else. Clean the windows. I'll fucking sweep I'll the vacuum. floor, vacuum. I'll do everything else. Just miss me without yeah. shit. Yeah, it's not in my wheelhouse. It's good. <laughs> Hold on. Okie dokie. Let's do our favourite little bit there, Lulu. Put my headphones on. Okay. Mm, okay, you ready for some Bad Widders hotline? Yes, please. Okay. Here we go, Bad Widders. Let's see what you got. Bad Widders. Um, this is Emma here calling from the beautiful, sunshiny Ballarat. Ooh. I just had a bit of a yarn to tell you guys. I um oh, by the way, I love the potty. Uh yeah, you have a sexy voice and Lou, don't let anyone tell you any different. You're just as sexy. But oh, yes. I Thanks did so have a I've been having some problems sleeping. So I uh after my sleeping pill last night <clears throat> and I knock out. Woke up about mm, two AM to what I thought was a nightmare, I was dreaming about the podcast. Dreaming about I was at the pub, <laughs> having a few tunas and a few frothies, and I met Jutch. And all of a sudden, Jutch and I oh. just start having a, a few more schooners, and it ends up being a little bit of a kick-ons. 
Okay, For some reason, Emma. Lou, I'm not sure why you weren't in my dream. I know Maybe why. it's because you can't sing, but don't let that get you down. Hopefully, I'll dream about you tonight. Oh, that's um, nice. Yeah, love the potty, guys. Uh, Bedwetters for life. And I have currently pissed the bed twice this year. So, so. <laughs> she's a true bedwetter. <laughs> Emma, you're a rooster. BW or L. Love you guys. My mate, Dave. Um, so she was having a sex injury. Stinks of that, doesn't I, I'm, it? I'm happy I wasn't there involved. Yeah, it would have been aggressive. But, I mean, it's no. her dream. Oh, I'm going to live sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying not to bother you. Oh, I really wanted to sneeze, John. I tried to let you so you could do it. You know when you can feel, it's like, it's like... It's like there's a little monster up there with a feather and they're going ding a ding a ding a ding a ding. A little monster. That's what it feels like. I get real cranky when I can't sneeze. Oh, Apparently when... you meant to look into the light. I should have done that. You look into the sun. Well, there's no sun. But oh, fair light. dinkum. Fucking hell, man. It's still calling. He's just, no, nah, just phones going. Hey, cunts texting me left, right and centre. I'm just like, fuck. Ah, okay. You need to go back to the bush, mate. I am. I cannot wait. Reset. I cannot fucking wait. I'm turning my fucking phone off and I'm just... I'm just, time. I'm going to help mum in the garden. I'm going to go to work with dad and just fucking yes. reset. Yeah. I'm over it. Okay, another one. Yeah, g'day, Lou and Josh. Love the potty, by the way. I was just listening to your latest episode where you were talking about if Lou ate shit, it would have been funny at the start of the podcast. Correct. Well, about two months ago, I really did do that. I was out at Burley Pass having a good time with my friends. We got kicked out, not the outside being a bit of a menace. I went to jump on a bloke's back, went face first into the concrete, ended up in the hospital with a couple of stitches, but fucked up. Anyway, love the potty. I'm going to Europe soon. Hopefully I run into Luke. Yes. I want you to call me back and I'll arrange flights just to see Luke. Love you. Bye. Love you too. Love that. Now, that's a yarn. Well... Now, that's a yarn, Lulu. Mine was still pretty good. Wasn't. The way I told it was well, though. You're good at telling stories. Yeah, so you can make anything when you're good at telling stories. Huh? I could talk about going to get a bloody coffee this morning. Do it. Oh, oh you talked a big game, sugar. Oh, Let's see what you got. I woke up and I had a pep in my step, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to put on my favourite pair of shoes. i gotta, I got to put my AirPods on, and then I'm going to <sighs> strut on down to Sonoma. <sighs> And I, yeah, oh. I'm feeling like an arm and cross on today. And then, whoa, out of nowhere, out of the sewage pipe, comes a giant python. So you've had to lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've had to lie, buddy. You realise maybe, <sighs> don't cry, you're very good at stories, but that was a fuck, it was toilet, that story. Your toilet. <laughs> <laughs> You might just cry. <laughs> I said to Lou, I go back home to <laughs> Steph. <laughs> Charlie, what's wrong? Toilet. <laughs> Lou calls me toilet. <laughs> on the podcast. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what you got. Hey, fuck with. Uh, chicken beer. <laughs> Uh, I've got a new one for you. This one's actually for Dior, the dumb cunt. Uh, the world's oldest bird was actually oh, yes. a two in New South Wales. <laughs> got him again. Bennett lived 120. Um, look it up and have a look at the photo uh, on the potty live if you can, because let me tell you, the bird looks like it's fucking 120. <laughs> That's it. Poor Dior. Getting roped into it by the bedwetters. Yeah, that was a good one because it was a bit of a roast. Does he, uh, he, he doesn't look. Oh shit! Does oh, he look old? Oh, he looks fucking dead. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> Wait, let me. Hang on. Yeah, Charles, and then put it up on the YouTube. Yeah. See this old fucking prick. Oh yeah, he's a corpse. Holy fuck, he's black. That's a corpse of a bird. Is there um a bin chicken? Oh, it's a cockatoo. Oh, you love a cockatoo. The bird. Yeah, I what, you love a cockatoo? 
Senorita. You said that were your Senorita. Pretty... I haven't been that naughty today, so I'm allowed you that You have one. been naughty. Have I? Yes. About with what? Too many things. Titties. <laughs> okay, one more. No, one more and then you get to choose a random oh, one. Oh, fine. Hey, Lou. Hey, Jarchi. So, um, I just listened to the pod about how you were invited to a wedding. I reckon oh, yeah. that Monique or Monique or whatever her name is, sorry if I'm saying it wrong, she should get Lulu to sing her Walking Down the Aisle song. <laughs> I reckon that would be amazing and Lulu would be so good at it. Oh, so good. <laughs> anyway, I've called that many times, so hopefully you listen to this fucking one. I'm getting pretty pissed off. Anyway... Keep pissing, love ya. Keep pissing, love ya. Love you. I- imagine me standing as she's walking down and I'm going, I don't know, what's a wedding song? <sighs> it's a love story, baby, just say Oh, yes. I'd fucking die. I would... Surely, like, I know I'm not the greatest singer. Surely no one wants that. No, no, but everyone would want it because of how fucked it'd be. But it would ruin your wedding. Exactly. And it'd be... S- it'd be a day to remember, that's for sure. I... I if I get to see if I ever get to see that I'll I'll get down on my knees after that I'll look up in the sky I'll say Allah God whichever one of you is real you can take me now my life is now complete it's over I'm good with it I'm happy I've accomplished <laughs> see me all. sing someone down the aisle I will I, I'll cripple oh you know with what laughter. song I'd sing. And love grows where my world's very go And nobody knows <laughs> like me. Oh, like. It depends on the aesthetics of the couple because you could then sing Who Let the Dogs Out. Charge. <laughs> well, just saying. Like if you and your, if you and your whoever got married, you could play Who Let the Dogs Out. <laughs> You're an arsehole. I know. Let me pick one. Yeah, you can pick one. Now, why are you to... Why are you to come over there and smack you around? Hey, Bedwitters. So, um, I'm not obviously having this now, but I've got a really... I've got a really stellar pisser who doesn't want to... He's my boyfriend. He's not, not really keen on exposing himself. I can't get him to speak for the podcast, but he was... Such a bad bedwetter as a child. He had those piss alarms. Yeah, bro. Welcome to the club. Yep. He used to just piss straight through the alarm. Yep. Straight through the piss. Mm -hmm. Sleep sleep straight through it. He was just a a really skilled, quality bedwetter. Yep. And the fact he doesn't want to come forward just shows how much of a skilled bedwetter he is. He doesn't even want recognition for it. He does it in the DL. That's right. It's a very good point. You're a good girlfriend for shining a light on something that is truly brilliant. Yeah. And impressive. We should get um bedwetter beeper merch. Like our, our own beepers. For the bedwetters. <laughs> they put them on after a big night of grogging. Fuck, I'll need one. Yeah. Sleep one of gro- us has got a wet. Oh, you've already done it. Yeah, don't fuck it. I've done it this year. I was about to say, one of us has to wet the bed this year. Ha. Daddy's done it. Hey, I've still got a couple in the tank. Don't you worry, mate. Maybe I'll do it in Europe. That would be ideal. European summer. Oh, European. Piss. European, all right. European, <laughs> European all over that fucking bed, hopefully. <laughs> with any luck, you little duck. It's good. I'm happy with it. <laughs> now, listen up. Hey, what? Good, good stuff, hotline. Good stuff. Good stuff, hotline. Good stuff, us. Gus. We've dribbled for an hour. And hopefully you'll be dribbling somewhere else in Europe. Yes. On your mattress. I hope so. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed for me. I'm not banking on it. But not really. Because you're not a real... Yeah, I know. Because you're not a real really. bedwetter. Um, oh, I'd really hope that I don't in some fancy hotel piss. That's the only way you want to do it. It's way more depressing pissing in a back hatters. Me even to call reception. Hey, guys. I need my mattress cleaned. Tell Raphael to come up. Stat. Mama's pissed again. Room 508. Sorry for the second time tonight. <laughs> yes, madam. We will send up Raphael as soon as we can. It was Spanish. Mm. Nah. Well, All right. Good. Well, we love the lot of you. Love you guys. And thank you for calling in. Thanks so much, Bedwitters. And you know what? We appreciate you. We do, mate. And um, 
keep pissing. Keep pissing. Ben Wetters for life, of course. Mm-hmm. And Who follow. Wrote? You know what? Don't follow me on Instagram. Yeah. Don't follow no, me either. No, follow Luke. Okay. But not me today. <laughs> That's so kind of you. Just, just me today, thank you. Just God. give Lou the love today. Thanks so much. I've torn some strips off her. She gets. She deserves some follows. True. Give them to me, not Judge. At LouisaDalden.com. Thanks. That's good. Now, hooroo. Bye-bye. <laughs>